here is everything you need to know about Update 2 for Forza Motorsport that releases on November the 14th next week. This update has a ton of bugs and fixes and for the time being I only have the highlight list. So these are the bugs and fixes that they have picked out to highlight to us. There will be a lot more but we're not going to know the full list of changes until the change log. So for in terms of bugs and fixes and crashes and all that being sorted, the serious ones should be on this list. Anything from stability, livery editor, PC, multiplayer, gameplay, cars and wheels. I will show you all all of the changes in the next video when we talk about the motorsport change log. Now for the good stuff in the update, we have a new track and it is the Yas Marina circuit from Abu Dhabi. 3.2 miles long, they have refreshed some of the tours of motorsport in the Builders Cup series to feature the new Yas Marina track. So you can see a list at the bottom of this paragraph that tells you which ones you'll get to race the Yas Marina in. So Builders Cup has been changed to incorporate the new track into. I've got some gameplay of the track on screen, looks brilliant. that I will roll along while we talk about the next thing, which is car pass cars. Now, obviously, if you have a car pass, you get a car every week until they have given away 30 cars. I actually still have one premium edition of Forza Motorsport to give away because one of the winners did not reply. So if you want to win that premium edition code, make sure to subscribe and comment your gamer tag. I'll pick someone. So the four car pass cars we have confirmed here, the Lotus Team Lotus Type 35, McLaren 720S GC3 car, Mercedes AMG GC3 car and Peugeot DG Sport competition that is from November the 16th to December the 7th now it seems like Forza Motorsport updates are going to be just like Horizon 5 updates and come out every sort of month so it's fairly safe to presume that on December the 14th is when update 3 will come out for Forza Motorsport. Got some gameplay of two of these four car pass cars the Mercedes over at Yas Marina let's see what it sounds like bit of a sound check and a walk around of the new McLaren. What else have we got? Well, we have more new cars in the new Korea Series Prestige Tour. This Prestige Tour begins in the British GT Series and will and you'll make your way through some of the fastest production cars ever made in the Maximum Velocity Series. So that sounds like a really good series. And one of the rewards for completing all four Prestige Tour Series is the 2011 Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, which is another new car because I don't believe that that is in Forza Motorsport. Let's do a sound check. We can see all of the individual series within the Prestige Tour. Now these also have some new cars in the spotlight. The 2013 Aston Martin V12 Vantage, the 2016 Lamborghini Aventador SV, the Bugatti Veyron Supersport, the Celine S7 LM, which we actually predicted would be coming because it was shown in the Forza Monthly thumbnail, the 2016 Spania GTA Spano, the 2022 Gordon Murray Automotive T50. Those are some great new cars that will be available as spotlight cars within the Prestige Tour. Now I have gameplay of quite a few of these cars. Let's see what some of them sound like. And for some of them, I only have a bit of a walk around clip.
Now we also have another new tour and it's called the Italian Open Tour. If you complete all this, you will be able to claim the next new car, the 2015 Ferrari 488 GTB. That is the sixth new car, no. I've completely lost count now. I think there's 13 new cars in total. Let's just put that number out there. You have until December the 14th to complete the series, which also adds up with the season sort of changing over around that date. Now there are a load of new spotlight cars for this month, which will have a 30% discount in the in the um, in the auto show and this also includes more new cars we've got the aston martin in the lamborghini that we previously spoke about the mazda mx5 cup is a new car we've got the bugatti veyron super sport that we spoke about the celine the gta spano we spoke about and we have the mg mg6 x power as well i think that's the 13th new car so we've got these eight new cars the four car pass cars the ferrari 488 gtb and the lamborghini sesto elemento that's 14 cars actually there's 14 new cars with a 30 percent discount now we also have a new featured multiplayer series spec and open events there is vintage le mans sports cars all from november 16th to 22nd again this seems like one per week subaru brz spec series the birth of grand prix and forza p2 series that is one up one every week basically and we've got some featured rivals as well every week there will be one rival you can do in a specific spotlight car they are all in the new cars that have been added we can see the calendar here um, the only exception is the Hyundai Veloster N Forza Edition which is not new to the game but this is available for the whole month to VIP members only so ignore that if you've not got VIP you will have one featured rivals in a new car per week until update three also excluding the special one which is on Yas Marina available for the full month also in the Koenigsegg Jesko. So that is pretty much everything in update 2. As I said there's 14 new cars available in the auto show at different times or as rewards in the new, new series the new prestige tour and the Italian open tour. Not a bad first month they are obviously hard at work fixing all of the insane bugs and fixes and crashes that are in the game at the moment so the fact that we've still managed to get a good update with a new track and 14 new cars some of which are really good although some of which you would argue should have been in the game at launch but it's still a new car who cares at the end of the day the big thing that people are going to be bothered about are the bugs and fixes because if you saw my previous video the game is having a lot of completely unplayable issues for a lot of people so hopefully update 2 is the one that really sets the ground and fixes most of them leave a like if you've enjoyed i'll see you all later